Hello, good people. Today, I'm going to take a class on Unit 11, Lesson 1, Renewable Energy Sources from your English for Today textbook. Here, renewable energy refers to as clean energy, which comes from natural sources or processes that are constantly replenished. For example, sunlight or wind. But before knowing the importance of uh, renewable energy sources, we have to understand the present condition of Bangladesh. That's why the lesson one is made for you. So let's jump into it. At first, I'm going to explain the passage to understand the connotative and denotative meaning of this passage so that you can easily be able to solve the multiple choice questions answering questions and clause test without clues. Now let's read the passage first. Sohan lives in a village in the southwest part of Bangladesh. Last night, he could not sleep. His sister had SSC exam the next morning. She could not read either. There was load shedding. The summer night being muggy and hot, life became hell without electricity. Most of their area remained dark for hours due to power shortage. Now you can see the southwest part of Bangladesh indicates the coastal area of Bangladesh where once rural poverty is severe compared to the other parts of the country. Moreover, you can see that Sohan couldn't sleep her, his sister couldn't read either. And all these things made their life hell, which actually life became dull to them. Again, their area remained dark for hours. And all these things are the common scenarios during load shedding. Here we can see that the night was quite muggy and hot. Here, Magi represents to unpleasantly hot. Magi is quite similar to hot, but which is unpleasant. Moreover, there is full of humidity. That means Magi. And Magi and hot, here is this one, is the characteristics of summer in Bangladesh. So, in May, June, temperature shoots up to 40 degrees Celsius with almost 90% of humidity in the atmosphere. It becomes all wet, damp, and stinky. When you are busy fanning yourself all the time, how can you concentrate on studies? In the night, it is impossible to sit down to study with a candlelight or table lamp or hurricane lamp or a rural kerosene lamp. People simply come out of houses almost bare-bodied and sit in the open places. Some splash cold water on their faces. Fans remain unmoving, electric bulbs are off, and it is dark everywhere. It is simply unbearable. Here you can see that May-June refers to the time of summer as well as the time for load shedding. Moreover, here says that temperature shoots up to 40 degrees Celsius, but in general, the temperature is actually more than 40 degrees Celsius is seen. Here you can see that the humidity rises up to 40%. That's why it becomes all wet, damp, and stinky. And all these are the common features of summer in Bangladesh. Now, the later things, busying, fanning, unable to sit to study, coming out of home bare-bodied, sitting in the open places, 
splashing the face with cold water to soothe yourself, not being able to use electronic products, dark everywhere, all these are the examples of the sufferings of the common people in Bangladesh during summer. And because of this, it is unbearable. Now, what is the reason for frequent load shedding? In this passage, the writer tries to explain the reason behind the load shedding. Press reporters say there is a shortage in electricity production. According to the Power Development Authorities, which is actually BPDB, Bangladesh Power Development Board, the demand for electricity a few years ago was more than 6,000 MW. Here, MW means megawatt a day while the supply remained around 4,200 megawatt. In the rural areas, the Rural Electrification Board, in short, REB, which is responsible for rural electrification, could supply barely half of the total demand, which was around 2,400 megawatt per day. In the capital city, the demand stood at around 1,400 megawatt, while the supply amounted to 650 megawatt. As a result, load shedding is unavoidable for the time being. But situation is improving very fast. Now, you can see that a shortage in electricity production is the main reason behind the frequent load shedding in Bangladesh. Another thing that you should notice already that the regular demand of the country was once 6,000 megawatt a day, whereas only 4,200 megawatt was delivered. So it is clear that there is an approximate shortage of 1,800 megawatt a day. But what is the condition in the rural sector? As you can see that REB only provided half of the total amount of their production. So they delivered about 1200 megawatt a day. But in the capital city, the shortage of electricity is about 750 megawatt a day. So these two are the comparison between rural life and city life. Now, all these things are the reason behind making load shedding unavoidable. But the situation is improving very fast. How? The current government has taken some mega projects and they are Rupur Nuclear Power Plant, Rampal Coal Power Project, Matarbari Power Plant. And all these projects will help us mitigate the problem completely one day. And that's all for today. See you in the next class. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.